on December 28th, 1956 in Chicago, Illinois. These two sisters, Barbara, who was 15, and Patricia, who was 12, went to see an Elvis film, which was called Love Me Tender, at the Brighton Park Theater around 7.30 p.m. It was a back-to-back -back of the same movie that night, and they ended up staying for the second showing of Love Me Tender as well. If they had gone straight home after the second showing, that would have meant they would have been home around 11.45 p.m. However, they never made it home that night, and they did disappear while traveling from the Brighton Park Movie Theater to their home in McClinley Park, which is about a mile and a half away from each other. And their disappearance initiated one of the largest missing persons investigations in the history of Chicago. And investigators looked relentlessly for these two young girls. Um, they searched rivers and canals, door-to-door -door searches, sent out flyers. Unfortunately, they were not found alive. Their bodies were discovered naked alongside a deserted road in Willow Springs on January 22, 1957, almost one month after they went missing. A man by the name of Leonard Prescott was driving along the road when he saw some flesh-colored things. He stopped, went home and got his wife, and then he went back with her. They discovered the bodies of Barbara and Patricia Grimes. There were sharp wounds on the girls, likely from ice picks and signs of blunt force trauma on both of the girls. But their cause of death was likely a combination of shock and exposure. They could not agree on a date of death for the girls. They could have died as quickly as five hours after they disappeared. Their bodies had been unusually well preserved by their placement in a deep snowfall. A 21-year-old by the name of Edward Lee Bedwell did confess to their murders. However, he only did so after a grueling three-day-long interrogation. He signed a 14-page long confession, but his story did not match the facts of the case. He later recanted this confession, saying he only did so because he believed the police would let him go if he confessed. He was never tried for their murder. Their mother, Loretta, received two phone calls from someone who claimed involvement with the case and he bragged during one of these phone calls about another young girl he had just killed, Bonnie Lee Scott, who was murdered in Chicago when she was 15 years old. A man named Charles Melquist was uh, convicted and served jail time for murdering Bonnie, but he was never fully investigated for the murder of the Grimes sisters. He passed away in 2010. And unfortunately, this is a cold case and an unsolved mystery. If Charles Melquist is their murderer, then we might never know for sure what actually happened to these girls. This remains one of Chicago's most infamous cold cases.